Center and Agonmasters.com. And today we're going to the 13th question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 2 from the Blue Book at the Harder Set of Math Questions. Number 13 reads, when I have a quadratic function f this graph and I start playing where y goes up to x, the vertex is negative 3, 6. Important information. Um, one of its x-intercepts on the graph is negative 17 on the fourth column of the graph. What is the other x-intercept on the graph? Now, I want you to think about a parabola for a second. So let's say a parabola goes like this. Notice what happens. Parabolas are symmetric. So your axis of symmetry, which is the x part of your vertex right here, that's going to be the average. It's going to be the midpoint. The x is going to be the midpoint of the two x-intercepts. And to get the midpoint, you take the average. So what we could do is here, it's negative 17 over 4 plus the other x-intercept. We take an average of those two. So instead of equal to negative 3, which is the x part of the vertex, it should work. Um, and I just illustrated it on the graph for you why it would work. Now, if I multiply both sides by 2, this cancels and get negative 17 over 4. Plus x equals negative 6. Then I'm going to add 17 over 4 to each side of the equation and solve my question. Might as well just plug that into Desmos. Boom, negative 6 plus 17 over 4 is negative 1.75. Bubble it in and move on. If it were a fraction, it'd be negative 7 over 4. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with this higher level math concepts, parabola, the other, this question in particular. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot the video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one minute video on TikTok.